Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I'm very, very excited today. I have secured the key to the pool area. These are your normal COVID-19 pool warnings, all the usual warnings about uh, hygiene um, and uh, disinfections and masks and six feet apart. Uh, they're warning us there's no lifeguard on duty. We're gonna go in the pool area. I'm very excited if you can look around you can see that I am going to enter the pool area there it is turning to the right and pulling straight and I am going moment momentarily moments from entering the pool area and there it is be careful of these pool area doors they're spring loaded and what's spring loaded those are the springs what spring loaded means is that this door will slam uh, very hard and close automatically behind you. I've taken the time to uh, diminish that slam. Why should you have any unnecessary noise if you can't help it? So I am in, I am in the pool area. This is the pool area, as you can see. And uh, it even has, uh, it looks like uh, a handicap wheelchair accessible ramp. You don't often see that. That is very, very conscientious. If need be, you know, if you're on a walker, a cane, or having some problem with your balance, or if you are in a wheelchair, this piece of concrete uh, will be able to safely get onto the plaza area. Uh, of the pool area, uh, commonly known as a barbecue. And I am very, very excited. Uh, always a set of keys at a pool. Whenever you're at a pool, you'll always find a strange set of keys. Someone that always leaves keys, it seems, in a pool area. And this pool area is no different. There it is beautiful pool area. We've got an overcast day, about 66 degrees, and uh, just, uh, just wonderful, just wonderful. Uh, I hope everybody's doing well. I'm very excited. This is the first time since I've been here in the uh, complex, the neighborhood, uh, uh, the gated community, uh, the rented room. This is the first time I've actually been inside the pool area. So I can't tell you how excited I am about this. Uh, uh, today it's about 66 degrees here today in Austin, Texas. Beautiful uh, clouds in the sky and uh, it's a little chilly. I did have a coat. You might have seen it on one of the benches or the tables uh, uh, as we uh, brought the camera in. This is, uh, this is the key to the pool area. I've been instructed to put this back in a certain place inside the residence so that everybody will have access uh, to the pool area at any given time. So uh, I'm not going to be uh, going in the pool today, but uh, uh, certainly I look forward to going into the pool. Uh, uh, when I do go in the pool, I will look forward to going into the pool. There's no doubt that I will look forward to going into the pool. Uh, today in history, uh, the 18th of April, on this day in history, some wonderful things took place, some exciting things. Uh, in 1506, uh, Pope uh, Julius II laid the first stone, uh, excuse me, uh, we all know what that noise is, that's children uh, to my left, and uh, I hope it doesn't affect the, the volume uh, too much. Uh, there's more than one. Uh, in 1506, Pope Julius II uh, laid the first stone, uh, the cornerstone or the stone uh, uh, for the Vatican, uh, St. Peter's uh, Basilica in uh, Vatican City in 1506. Imagine that, 1506. 
apparently one of the child has uh, been injured by another child. Maybe it was a self-inflicted injury, but the child is upset about something and letting everybody know uh, in uh, South Austin that they are in some kind of distress or pain. We can only hope that that uh, pain and stress is relieved by a parent or a guardian of some kind and uh, does not affect the, the, this, this video any longer. Uh, so, uh, 1506, if you think things are crazy here today in the world, imagine what it was going on in 1506. You didn't have Dairy Queen in 1506. You didn't have Happy Meals in 1506. You didn't have the Miranda rights in 1506. You didn't have central air conditioning and double bay garages in 1506. You didn't have JC Penny and you didn't have uh, Nike. So there's a lot of things that you can compare, but uh, certainly in 1506, you might have not even had any food <laughs> or shelter in 1506. Uh, in 1775, it was the famous day that Paul Revere made his famous midnight run. I'm not sure when it was, but he made it, and he warned all the British, British uh, uh, people in Boston that the British were coming. The British was coming. The British are coming. And he warned all the people in Boston on horseback that the British uh, were coming. It is said that he went, uh, he visited over 7,500 bars to let all the people from Boston uh, know that the British were coming. So our hats are off to Paul Revere. Holy cow. And uh, 1906 today was the San Francisco earthquake. Uh, it was a big one. Uh, I didn't do any further research. I'll let you uh, do your own research on that today. Uh, it was a big one. It was uh, big enough that it did a damage. It, it flattened San Francisco. The whole place caught on fire. And uh, it was tr very traumatic for the people that were uh, living in San Francisco at the time. Rocked the whole place, just rocked the whole house. Set it up on fire. I was in the earthquake in 19, uh, I forgot my timer again. <clears throat> I, 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 it just doesn't seem like I could ever remember to bring everything I need when I need it. So uh, anyway, it was a terrible, terrible earthquake, uh, 1906, famous earthquake. I guess it could have been a, could have been a 6.0, could have been a 7.0, could have been an 8.1. I know it was more than a 3.3. I know it was less than a 10.9. Some place in that, that was the earthquake, which uh, devastated San Francisco, devastated. Took them many, many years to rebuild uh, San Francisco after the 1906 earthquake. So, uh, with that said, I think I'm just going to give you a little bit of tour of the pool area uh, before I close this presentation, and uh, so you'll get to know and you'll get to see uh, uh, everything. I'll just pick up my tripod and spin it around, and uh, uh, I'll pull up the legs at the bottom and I'll tighten that screw at the bottom and I can give you a very, very good uh, 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 tour of, uh, of course, my brother Jay called me, so now on my screen, because I didn't put it on airplane mode. Watch your step now. Watch your step. Uh, uh, I'm gonna see uh, Jay voicemail and I'm afraid to slide it to the left because uh, let me just saw it, slide it to the left to see if this doesn't. All right, it's gone. Okay, so here's the pool area. Very exciting. Um, I can even put this, make this lower. So I can, uh, hold on, let me just adjust this. Uh, this is a tripod. Okay, I can control it better now. I, 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 I uh, f you know, folded it in, you know. You don't really fold it, 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 it goes, inside you you know it goes inside the uh it, it contracts okay so this is the three foot section here and it's good railing good strong railing you want a good strong railing with the pool they want to let everybody know there's no diving in this area that's a problem if you dive in that area you might be using that wheelchair ramp up there this is three foot to six foot section and i like a little bench see the little bench on here 
these pools are not cheap. I say a pool like this would cost about uh, at least, uh, uh, I don't want to go too far, but I, it's in the range of probably 45000 to even maybe $65,000. Uh, uh, that determines the contractor that you choose if you're interested in one of these for your own home. Many people in America have their own private swimming pools. Uh, this is another three foot and six inch section. Is this all it's gonna be? I guess this is a very shallow pool. These are some lounge chairs and a little card table over there and a little screen in case uh, you wanna get out of that hot sun. Three foot, six inch again. So I guess this is going to be it. Maybe it gets deeper in the middle. Oh, over there, it's over there. It's going to get deeper, I guess. Again, they want to let us know there's no diving. There's no shortage of signage in America. It, just just park your car on any city street, and you 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 can take a half an hour just to try to figure out and read the parking signs. Uh, three feet uh, six inches. Why don't they just round it off to three feet? What is the six inches for? God, here's a ball. Wow, look at that. I'm gonna see if I can't pick that ball up. And I'm gonna throw it in the pool. Watch now. Did you see it? Okay. Three feet, six inches. Some more tables over here. Uh, lounge chairs. This is some of the damage from the, uh, the terrible storm we had back in February where uh, I'm still waiting for my car from the... Oh, uh, Oak Hill Body and Paint. They said they had... Here's another way to get in and out of the pool. And uh, some more benches over here. Very nice. Three feet again, six inches. No diving. Four foot, six inches. Okay, so it's a little deeper over here. Some of the residents may be tall and they need deeper water. And that's about the extent of the depth. I guess it gets a little bit deeper. Well, maybe the deepest is uh, three feet, six inches over here. So it's, uh, it's, it's quite, a, quite a nice little pool. I hear some more damage from the storm back in February. See the palms? Ouch. Palms, they're not used to it. Severe weather that we had here. So I'll just walk it over here. This is a very important thing you see in pool areas. This is the life-saving device over here. Gotta have that, and of course the stick over here. See the stick? I don't even know if it looks like it's serviceable. What does it say over here? Oh, well, here it is, it's the hook. See the hook at the end? I don't know what that blue thing is. But uh, the stick, see the stick? The very important, at the end it has like a thing that you can grab onto. I don't, I don't know if I can get over there and show you that hook. This is real important. This is what you use to get people out that have lost their way in the water. See the stick? Can you see it? It's kind of cam camouf uh, camouflaged. Almost butchered that word. See it? And that's a big stick. You want to always have that handy. And uh, this is like a squeegee. I don't know what this is for. I guess you could use that to have somebody hold on to as well. So uh, very nice. Some more steps. And this looks like a, this could be a restroom or a change room. What's going on over here? Some more COVID-19. Uh, let me see if I can have the key to this. Uh, is this the same key to get in? Now that's open. What is this? Is this going to open? No. All right, this is out of service then, whatever it is. It's a restroom. Maybe there's a shower in there. Oh, who knows what's in there? Now, this is the ramp that... Uh, somebody with uh, a wheelchair can use to get down into their area, which is very nice. Uh, there's no sense of having one access point for a, a wheelchair and not having another one that leads to the pool area. So I'm back up on the plaza now, and it's just uh, very nice, very nice. And some nice chairs over here. And... Uh, that's it. This is the pool area. So, uh, 
I can write in my diary that I was in the pool area today. And uh, I'm looking forward. Uh, those are those keys again. God, those keys could be to anything. And I also have my uh, my bathing suit. I brought my bathing suit just to show you that I did come prepared. This is the bathing suit that I'll wear when I go in the pool. Bathing suit, pool. Bathing suit and pull so I'm looking forward to getting some use out of this uh, when it warms up a bit and I hope there aren't too many children in the pool when I go maybe I'll go at night when there's no children uh, children can be a big problem in a pool area they use it as a public restroom a lot of times they'll just urinate straight into the chlorine water and Sometimes that uh, has a reaction and it'll really burn your eyes. And sometimes uh, I had a friend who was in a pool. He had four or five kids and he used to break out in rashes every time he went in the pool because the urine content was at such a high level. He didn't give his kids any liquids for like a couple of hours before they went in the pool just to starve off that. It's just like once those kids get in the, in the water, they just wanna, they just wanna urinate. I urinate in the ocean. If I'm in the ocean, sometimes if I'm on the beach and I have to urinate, I'm not gonna go all the way back to the residence or the hotel or wherever the heck I'm staying. I'll just go in the ocean. People think I'm trying to take a swim or cool off. I'm just urinating. You know, a little urine's not gonna hurt the Gulf of Mexico. I think it's the oil that hurts the Gulf of Mexico more than the urine. So that's a problem. So watch it. Watch it. Be safe this year and this summer. And watch the urine in the pools. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Have a great rest of the Sunday. And don't forget to flush. <laughs>